YouTube family friends. This is your girl Tiny and welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to do a crown with hair bun. So I showed you how to do a crown and I showed you how to do a hair bun. So today is crown with hair bun. So let's get started. So now I'm going to show you how to do the crown and hair bun as I told you earlier. So the first thing you want to do is take down your hair completely and make sure it's combed out completely. So you can either brush it or comb it out. Remember I showed you how to do the crown and hair bun. So the first thing I did was comb her hair out completely. So I'm going to comb it out one more time just to keep be sure it's completely combed out. Or you can brush it out completely, whichever one is fine. Now, after you've done that, you can spray a little bit of spray in if you want to a hairspray that way make it easier for you to grab or comb out while you're braiding the hair the next thing you want to do after you comb her hair completely out you want to make sure there's hair in front of her face so that way when you get ready to braid you want to come to the side where her ear is and braid it all the way around her head so the first thing first is make sure there's hair on in front of her face on the side and the back. Next thing you're going to do is part some hair in the middle of her head like this. You can do a square, circle, anything. Just part it all the way around. So that way when you finish the crown you can do the hair bun on top. Once you got that parted Go ahead and begin to uh, braid the hair around her head. Put the little section that's on top of her hair into a ponytail for now. And then I'll show you how to make a neat bun. Not a nappy bun, but a neat bun. So, um, once again, comb her hair out. Make sure there's hair in front of her face. That way when you get begin to braid, you can braid all around her head. And it'll be a complete crown. So go ahead and braid her hair, starting from the ear, or you can start from the back of her head and go all around. But I'm gonna start from the, from her ear and go all the way in front of her head and around to make a crown. And then I will show you what it look like when you get ready to do the uh, hair bun. Now that you made it to one side of her ear to the other side of her ear, you want to go ahead and braid all the way around her head to the back to the other side of her ear. So continue braiding until you get all the way around her head. So continue braiding. And every time you do her hair or braid it, you want to make sure her hair is out of knot as you braid it. So, so far it should look like this and it's going all the way around her head. So continue braiding all the way around her head until you get to the other side. So now that you've finished completing the crown and you have some left over on inside of her head, like this part. You want to braid it all the way down that way you come across it and then put a hairpin on it wherever the rest of the hair that ends off so braid her hair all the way down if you have some left over
So continue braiding it and braid it all the way down to the end until I can't braid anymore. So. Now that I am done braiding all the way at the end, we are going to wrap the rest of the braid around her head. And then put a hairpin where it needs to be hair painted at. So go ahead and have a hairpin ready. And then this extra hair, we're gonna come to the back behind her first braid. Just put it behind here so that way it'll look like a crown. And then just go all the way around. So first hairpin, place it here into the braid to hide the hairpin. Then you get one more hairpin and go around her head with the braid again. If your hair is extremely long, go all the way around and place the hairpin at the end of the braid into the hair to hide the hairpin. Now you have a crown. The crown should be done and it should look like this. Once you're done now, you're ready for the hair bun. So take the hair out of ponytail, the center of the head out of ponytail and make sure it's combed out completely. One last time. And then place it back into a ponytail. So I want to make sure the sure ponytail is completely combed out. Make sure the ponytail is completely combed out. Now you want to take another rubber band to put her hair in a ponytail. So go ahead and put her hair in a ponytail, the center piece of her hair in a ponytail, like this. Now that you did that, ponytail should look like this. Now, this time I'm not going to divide the ponytail into two, I'm just going to do one. So, the hair is long, it's super long, so what you want to do is you can either twist it like this and then wrap it around like this, it'll be one bun. Or you can do like this and kind of like put the extra hair behind it to close it off. And then you have a ponytail crown bun. Either you can do it like that. But I'm going to do it the other way. So, with that said, take the hair that's in a ponytail and twist it like this. And wrap it around like that and then you have a bun I should have just pulled out more hair that way to be a bigger bun but I'm gonna show you a trick to it so go ahead put the clip in put the hair pin in to close the bun off now, my trick of doing this hair bun, so you have a crown and then you have a hair bun. Now, my trick to do the bun is to pull it apart like this. 
so it'll be a big bun. Just make the bun loose. But don't let it get nappy or messed up. Just pull it apart just a little bit so that it'll be loose. And don't let the hair pan fall out either. So. There you go. You have a crown and a hair bun. So there's the finish. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this hairstyle. If you do not like it, I will try something different. I will try a different hairstyle. This is just an easy hairstyle just to go for a play or for a history play. This is a perfect hairstyle to wear for that history play. Romeo and Juliet. So this is the crown and hair bun. Now, if you do not want the hair bun, take the hair bun down and you can choose to wear it as in a ponytail. So, to leave it down, there's the ponytail. There you go. Now you have a ponytail crown. And just go all the way around, which I don't like that one because it just kind of looks a little nappy. So I would rather just do the crown by itself without the hair bun and the ponytail. Those of you who likes the bun in it for a history play or something like that, the perfect hairstyle for the bun for a history or something like that. There's your bun with the crown in it. So if you like this hair, if you like this hairstyle, leave a thumbs up, comment, like, subscribe, and let me know what you want to see next. Thank you for watching and have a good day.